Israeli flags fly over the ruins of Gaza. In this village in the northeast of the Strip, Israeli soldiers storm every house. They claim they've destroyed Hamas tunnels nearby and now control the area. He's saying, he's saying, don't take a picture of me because my wife doesn't know I'm here. She'll be so worried if you know I'm here, so don't take a picture of me. In Gaza City, Israel combines a ground offensive with airstrikes. Civilians flee the massive bombardment. Thousands of Palestinians, including many children, have been killed over the past five weeks. There's only one way to get into the Gaza Strip as a foreign journalist, and that's with the Israeli army. We have all kind of threats while we're here. Motors, drones. You'll see on my head of the APC right above you, there is some kind of a roof. This roof is made to protect the soldiers inside from drones, from RPG drones. From this armoured vehicle, you don't see the devastated landscape. But when we reach the suburbs of Gaza City, the dust clears and the scene is apocalyptic. Thousands of civilians are fleeing south, some on horse-drawn buggies, others on foot waving white flags. This Israeli sniper watches, on alert for an ambush by Hamas fighters who might have infiltrated the crowd. So you call that a humanitarian corridor, but some people abroad would call that forced displacement. What's yeah, you could call it forced displacement, but at the same time, we didn't invade them on the 7th of the 10th. They invaded us. We're doing the best we can to help them while securing our goals. Mm -hmm. Our goals are getting our people home safe. So we're always talking about proportionate response. There's no proportionate response in war. The army fears that some of the 240 Israeli hostages are being hidden in this crowd. So they regularly call out in Hebrew. <laughs> we're forbidden to advance ahead of the soldiers to the Palestinian civilians. So the only way to hear their stories is to call on Palestinian journalists based in Gaza. One of them sent us these images shot the day before. They show Israeli airstrikes in the distance. These exhausted civilians feel they're re-experiencing the trauma of 1948, when over 700,000 Palestinians were expelled from their lands during the creation of the State of Israel a dispossession known as the Nakba, or catastrophe, in Arabic. Where can we find shelter? There are thousands of homeless people, including children, women, and people of all ages. Some have perished in the streets. Others lie helpless on the ground. Who can we turn to but Allah? Back in Israel, we submit our images for military censorship, which was a condition of this shoot. The IDF approves all images broadcast to ensure, they say, that they don't endanger their soldiers. But none of what was said in this report, none of our questions or the soldiers' answers, were checked.